George Will is here, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist, News Nation senior political contributor. The, the famous old line, right, is what's good for General Motors is good for America. Is the opposite true? What's bad for General Motors? A strike on General Motors bad for America? It's bad for America, but marginal. You know, you're talking about 150,000 UAW workers. That's a shadow of what it was 40 years ago. I can tell you right now who's going to win this strike. Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina. All red states. All red states, all right-to-work states, all southern states. And manufacturers are going to say, we don't need this. Let's go south. All right. In, in terms of just broad economic terms, are we right to point out that the president who has made all of these pronouncements about his union loyalties has chosen a different horse to ride? Yes, and the fact is, what we've learned in the last few days with reports from the Census Bureau is that Americans, all his talk about, uh, I'm a union guy and I'm for the working guy, working guy's gotten poorer during the Biden presidency. Wages have gone up, as you'd expect, in a very tight labor market, but even in a tight labor market, they've gone down. Uh, and the interesting thing, Leland, is the demographic that suffered most are college-educated people who are, as we now know, largely a Democratic constituency. All right. Uh, Biden's relationship with the auto industry unions, labor organizations contributed $27.5 million to a campaign and other groups that support him. Compared to Donald Trump, took in less than 360000 from these groups. Wayne County, Michigan, Detroit, 2020, very high concentration of union workers, of auto workers. 2020 election, overall Wayne County it was a definitive vote for Biden at 68.12%. We know that the 2024 election is gonna be decided in some combination of Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and then down through the South. How profound of an effect is the shift from pro-union to pro-climate change going to be on the voters in those states? It's clearly annoying the workers of the United Auto Workers. They feel as though they're being sacrificed for climate goals. But remember this, the secret of the labor support for the Democratic Party is that most of the unionized people in the United States are in the public sector. They are public employees unions, teachers particularly, but ask me, the state and local county workers. What do you make, and I'm, I'm just now thinking of this because we had the Mike Pence town hall last night and he was, he, he was fairly unsupportive. He tried to sort of pay lip service to it, but fairly unsupportive of, of the United Auto Workers. Given that now working class blue collar Americans are now becoming more and more Republican, are you surprised that there's not any of the Republican presidential candidates now trying to peel off support from the UAW and trying to champion their cause right now? A little bit. But remember, again, as you were saying, so many of the people who are making the automobiles, actually producing, putting things together, aren't in the UAW. They're down south in the, in the, the Toyota, Honda, BMW, Mercedes workers down south don't feel much solidarity with the UAW up north. They feel yeah. they're rivals. Well, not only are they rivals, but the UAW guys are a lot better paid sometimes. Well, they're rivals also because the American automobile industry, the big three, so-called, are now almost public utilities. They are so heavily subsidized by the government in the name of green subsidies that we can consider them semi-nationalized. Huh. Yeah, that's a good point, which would give the which should give the president even more leverage that he's not using right now. Because George, good to see you, sir. See Thank you. you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.